Hi there. Today we're going to convert this old rotary dial telephone into a studio recording microphone for vocals. Rather unusual, but um, not unique. It's been done before. There are quite a few videos on YouTube that uh, show you exactly how to go about it. And what we want really is to use the microphone here um, connected through the phone uh, into an XLR output so that you can put that into the mixer and use it for vocal recordings. It creates an interesting lo-fi effect um, in the vocal recording, so it can be used as a supplement to the usual recording techniques and the usual recording microphones they use. So we'll go about it today and I'll show you exactly how we do that. First of all, we need to open the telephone and uh, get access to the speaker, or rather the microphone, uh, isolated from the rest of the circuitry. Here we have it. We remove the casing. It's full of dust, as it would be. And uh, this is the basis of the whole telephone. The ringers, the dial, and most of this we are not going to need or use. So what we need to do is really find the uh, get access to the uh, microphone wires on this and uh, isolate them from where they come into the board over here. So let's see, we, um, we can unscrew this quite easily. And here we have the microphone. It's a white and blue wire. There's a green and red going through. That's going through to the earpiece over here. There's our green and red. We leave the earpiece alone for now. Let's just focus on these two, the uh, blue and white. This will need a bit of cleaning. It's a bit uh, corroded, but we'll leave it for now. So out of here, we have out of the coil, coiled wire, we have a white, we have a blue, we have a red and green. So the two we need are these two over here, the blue and the white. So let's get them out of here for now. Leave the rest as it is. So these two wires isolate the mouthpiece completely. These two wires are connected to the microphone and to nothing else. So now we've got to go about getting an XLR connector in here. And that's obviously the next step. I've changed the plan a little bit. The idea originally was to stick an XLR connector out the back here, um, but um, this is Bakelite and in all likelihood it's going to crack. The probability of me getting a 12mm or 15mm diameter hole here without a crack is nil. So what I've decided to do is to take the existing telephone a little bit further and I'm going to use the connector wire this is what normally would go to the wall and I'm going to uh, use that and connect an XLR over here. So what I need to do is I need to take that uh, blue and white which is coming from the microphone down here and I'm going to connect it to um, the wires going in here which are white, green and red. Obviously this is a different, uh, different set. It's this set over here. So I'm going to disconnect these here and I'm going to put them to the same terminal block and disconnect any other wires going to that terminal block. So 
what I will have is uh, only the blue and white coming from the speaker here, or rather from the microphone, going in here, out through the terminal block, out of here, and it'll end up here. Now there's three connectors here. I only need two. I'm going to try something else. I'm actually going to um, probably just use a, a uh, corded um, XLR connector. Uh, and then I'll just connect those to the terminal blocks over here and we should have it. And here we have it. We've got the telephone with the mic, the earpiece. These are going straight through the telephone out to here. And what I've done is I've actually connected a jack uh, as opposed to an XLR because I want him to test the levels on the, I want to test the levels on the, um, on the mixer first before I connect an XLR to there and I don't have one here at the moment. Anyway, everything else is just for show. You know what they say about the best made plans? Um, when testing this, I found that the microphone piece was not working. But we still have the headpiece and the headpiece works just fine. So I remove the headpiece and I'm going to connect the headpiece into the microphone uh, position and we're good to go. I'll also be putting a little bit of uh, insulation, some foam and uh, a little bit of insulation just so that it doesn't make any noises other than the ones you want it to make. And I think we'll be away. Here we have it resting nicely on the foam. This is dampened it nicely. And now I'm going to get a bit of thin foam to put over the top just to reduce any wind noise um, and uh, therefore reduce the sibilance a bit on the microphone itself. This is the foam I'm putting in here just as a bit of a windbreak and get rid of all the yeses on the, on the sound and we'll just connect that in there and we're good to go. That's it we have our lo-fi microphone and it even comes with a stand. What do you know? No test would be complete without a uh, actual hands-on check and this is the sound we get. This is going uh, through a uh, just uh, a mic to speaker of the guitar amp I have here and uh, we have our lo-fi microphone. I'm sure that uh, my friend in the recording studio is going to do a hell of a lot better job than I am in recording. But uh, since I can't sing, this is what I'm limited to. Bye for now. Enjoy.